We got a new Hellboy movie that got sent straight to digital stores to buy, but is it worth your time? Welcome Cinema, where we focus on the film. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema. Let me know in the high comments below. Did you check out Hellboy the Crooked Man? Is it good, is it bad, or somewhere right in the middle? Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you wish. If it's beneficial and helps you join in this community that you enjoy and we can talk about the love of cinema as a whole. So going right into the synopsis. Hellboy and a rookie agent stranded in 1950s Appalachia discover a community of witches with ties to Hellboy's past. And getting first into the positive, this film was relatively decent for what my expectations were going into it with all the negative talk about getting straight sent straight to VOD and generally I just did enjoy what we got out of the vibes what we're getting out of the actors the performance weren't too bad for what you're getting out of the general gist of your expectation there's some good aesthetics to the setting and this is a Hellboy movie that doesn't rely on the past films and has its own way of going straight into the action or at least not having an origin story right at the beginning of the film. It's not restarting your knowledge of what we're getting out of Hellboy, which can take newcomers out of it, but just what you're getting into the gist of the story, it takes you right into the setting. It has a good 4C setting that really takes you sort of back in time a little bit just for the aesthetic that it's building upon and discovering the witches, certain things with the woods, there's creepy ideas, things that really builds up the horror attention and while it doesn't quite feel totally original by its own means it still builds upon the grounds of its own handiwork and captivates you at different times and there were a few times where it did surprise me with what it did with its work whether the makeup effects or the way it subverts expectations with just sudden movements of where it takes the story as a whole. Martin Bassadale added a great creepy aesthetic to the film out of his performance that creates this older sort of gentleman that's also disturbing by the way they utilized the effects. The performance was great. Jack Kessie was great as Hellboy, at least for doing a simple version of the voice, everything, and the makeup, how his body build was done as a whole. And what we get out of Brian Taylor's directing, he's done a couple of films such as Crank and Crank 2 in the past, as well as the sequel to Ghost Rider. And this is well directed I would say just in the general scheme of what you're getting out of the action certain camera movements or certain framings to the aesthetic of the look that does amplify some of the viewing spheres just that much more and getting right into the mix elements there's some ideas like I mentioned where it's not necessarily a thing where if you haven't seen the older Hellboy movies, you may be lost at certain points, not knowing who Hellboy is, what his general essence is all about. There is an aspect to Hellboy's past that they explore within this, but there is some things about Hellboy that you may want to know to begin with that it, it lends its favor to watch the others first or uh, just go into this as its own film, as a th film that has its own Hocus Pocus style vibe, its own aspects that really builds upon its own sort of story with witches, this crooked man, and just the essence of evil as a whole. Which takes me right into the negatives. There's some parts of the story where the dialogue is very plain and not necessarily horrible, to which, yes, there is some bad dialogue that can take you out of the story, but there's some parts of the dialogue where when it's talking about the evil, it says evil or the darkness or certain aspects where they're very generic words that they're utilizing very vague descriptions of something that just doesn't express too much outside of the generic realm of evil that they're talking about when it could be much more in depth about what they're talking about the witches certain things that it's not complicated within its language when this is an adult film that there is some 
violence or other things that makes it more grotesque. And so there's something about that that feels like it should be smarter with the use of its language and the way it goes about its story is relatively generic. It's something I kind of seen before. There are certain remarks about the film that still work for me. Like I said, the aesthetic of the film, the style of what they did with the filmmaking, but it doesn't feel like they really hone in on Hellboy's character or even having other characters that you're familiar with from the older films, having not been a comic book reader myself, that makes me familiar with the script or makes me familiar with Hellboy outside of the few lines that he utilizes that are comic book feeling style ideas and dialogue. So there's something that really takes you out of the essence of it being a comic book film. Hellboy could basically be whoever he is and not a named Hellboy within this film and it would still work for being a generally crafty horror film that has its own aesthetic that isn't necessarily horrific by its horror film standards because it is involving witches and everything, but there's not really an essence that really gets you frightened whether that was the approach they were trying to or not. And it's all set in this one set location that the setting, while it is captivating and draws me in, it has so much to do without throughout the runtime that by the end you don't necessarily remember as much about it because of all of the different ways that it utilizes all the action, certain things here and there, but it's relatively generic, something that you may expect things to go by the beat and therefore don't quite remember the different set locations, how things took place, how things come about. And that also leads into Hellboy's origins, which it talks about, that where I'm not spoiling this film, there's some things with its editing that it's a little choppy. You have this one group of characters over here. There's a couple group of characters over here that they're splitting their runtime in half with utilizing this character split to this character and they sort of cut certain parts of the action short in order to remind you and go to what's going on in this character's life and then switching back to this and it's a little choppy by the remarks of how it utilizes that how it balances the keys of what you're following through with these characters that really can take away from some of the sentiment of being able to get attached to what they're explaining, what the film is speaking on as a whole, and Hellboy's origins being one of the more less interesting things about the film, which is sad because it's sort of really tying into his origins when it's really building up to it based on the mystery of what's going on in the woods, what is all going about with this evil, this darkness that he is sensing, that loses its ground by the end because of what its purpose is trying to set out to be, but not fulfilling the origins, the surprise of what it's going after with that once it gets to that remarks, even if the film relatively works throughout so that's just my personal review of Hellboy the Crooked Man, which I have to rate as simply 5 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts on Hellboy the Crooked Man. Was it good? Was it bad? Or somewhere right in the middle? Or if you're waiting for this review to decide if you're going to see it or not, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already to join in the film culture community where we talk about a lot of cinema as a whole. So that's just all. And make sure to do yourself a favor and go watch a movie.